it seems like a country may be accumulating Bitcoin right now. This could be Russia or maybe Saudi Arabia or another big country, but this is absolutely massive. And as well, it seems like the OTC supply has completely dried up. This is going to be significant for Bitcoin. It's going to be a very important video that is absolutely going to blow you away. I definitely recommend you to watch this video till the end because holy crap, guys, this is going to be excited. Now, let's dive you straight into the Bitcoin price again. As you guys know, the Bitcoin price is an absolutely beautiful mover to the upside, and this is just absolutely insane. This ex basically blew up my expectations I, of course i'm very bullish on bitcoin this is you know my whole life work i've put all my dedication into bitcoin i've been holding bitcoin for years but this has absolutely blown past my expectations and i think a lot of you guys probably as well were surprised that bitcoin was going to do this now the major question is why is this happening um why is bitcoin currently here breaking here well pretty much about to break here the autumn high so soon we haven't even seen a halving yet well i've talked about this very theory before but this is from i i i capital and this person is basically saying Pretty much the same thing that I've been talking about for a very, very long time. And that is that actually the reason why Bitcoin is currently trading at such a high level is because this all-time high was actually a fake all-time high. Now, as you guys can maybe remember, actually what we got here is that we got China actually banning Bitcoin mining. This resulted in actually a lot of the existing supply from the Chinese miner. They were dumped on the market and this resulted in Bitcoin having this big move to the downside. And then eventually we came back here a little bit to the upside, but then the Fed started to increase interest rates right over here so that also blew us down right over here to the downside now we could have had a little bit of a mover to the upside but then we had ftx actually selling a major amount of bitcoin they were actually selling shadow bitcoins bitcoin that they didn't really held they were selling it on the market they were dumping fake bitcoins on the market and eventually once that ponzi collapsed right over here we saw a significant amount of bitcoin significant amount of sell pressure and that was just pushing the bitcoin price down now of course we also had speculation we had altcoins we had luna collapsing we had three hour capital collapsing and all of those things were resulting in bitcoin having this significant correction here to the downside now the thing is is that the thing you know bitcoin's fundamentals didn't really change but without all of these speculations and these scammers a lot of people are basically saying that the bitcoin price should have actually broken here much further to the upside and we should have actually probably broken uh, somewhere to like hundred thousand US dollar maybe even like hundred twenty thousand US dollar and this was only a fake autumn high um, generally speaking what we see bitcoin do is that it has like you know a, a 30x move to the upside from the previous autumn high you know we saw bitcoin go here from thousand to about 20,000, it was about a 20x, but this was only like barely like a 3x here. So a lot of people were very surprised. Like a lot of people were at least expected like a 10x to 200,000 US dollar. To be honest, me as well was expecting much and much higher levels here in the last bull market. But we didn't really get it because a lot of speculation was going on. A lot of scammers were taking away money from Bitcoin and they were actually investing it into meme coins, into NFTs and all that kind of crap. Now, all of those bubbles have been completely busted right now. So it seems like this is why Bitcoin is able to move so quickly here to the upside again. And this is why my expectations were completely destroyed because, well, even though I've told about the theory, I thought like, like, well, that's probably not true. I'm probably just coping. Um, this is just very normal behave behavior for Bitcoin to have these strong corrections to the downside. Maybe the cycles aren't going to be that exciting anymore. Um, but it seems like I was completely wrong. And Bitcoin does have the significant mover to the upside. So uh, this is absolutely insane. Again, um, as you guys can see here on Twitter, I've been holding Bitcoin here. Went all in here back in 2023 here, exactly on January 1. And I actually posted this all on YouTube as well, where I went all into Bitcoin. I bought a bunch of spot. And um, yeah, basically that's been very nice and I break it that very absolutely amazingly, but this move to the offline, I think just completely broke, broke everybody's expectations. But regardless of that here at the Team Underground channel, we have been holding on steadily for Bitcoin and we believe in the future. And regardless of this, I think that Bitcoin should definitely go to much, much higher levels anyway. So regardless of that, uh, we were pretty much right and uh, I've never sold any of my Bitcoin. And of course, I expect Bitcoin to go to the upside for many, many years. And that's just pretty much what is happening. So regardless of that, hey, I'm making good profit. I'm doing very fine. Hopefully, you guys as well are doing absolutely beautiful right now. Now, it seems like the people that are not doing that beautiful are the people who currently don't have any Bitcoin because the OTC market has completely dried up. Now, the OTC market is basically coins that you don't really buy in a market. So gen so how would I say this? Like, generally speaking, if you buy coins yourself, you buy it on something like Binance or Bybit. And on there, there's a limited amount of supply that you can actually buy from. But basically, it's the case that if you're a big, big, big investor, like you're BlackRock or a country and you want to buy Bitcoin, you probably want to buy like thousands of amount of Bitcoin. But it's very difficult to just buy it on the market because there might not be enough liquidity and you're going to end up moving the price quite a bit. So what's actually the thing is that you can buy coins OTC. So big bars, they generally tend to buy OTC. Now, as you can see, the supply for the OTC market has completely dried up. It's basically pretty much zero, which means that if people want to buy Bitcoin, they have to do it here at the market. So they have to go to Binance or Coinbase, buy Bit, they have to buy Bitcoin there. And 
that basically means that they're going to influence the prices a lot. And you're going to see a lot more volatility coming ahead, probably to the upside here, because once people are going to have to buy Bitcoin, they're going to start to buy like thousands, thousands of Bitcoin, and they're going to have to do that on the spot markets, which is going to cause crazy, crazy volatility. So more volatility is going to be ahead, and this is probably the reason why we had such a big stick here to the upside. Now, this is quite crazy, and I want you to watch this, because you're going to completely blow your mind. I mean, this I, I've... I've tried to comprehend it today, uh, but it's just absolutely insane. That is that there's someone or a country or an investor or a fund, sovereign wealth fund, doesn't really matter, which is buying thousands and thousands of Bitcoin pretty much every single day for the last year or so, since November uh, 2022. This wallet has been accumulating like steadily like 100 Bitcoin a day, 100 Bitcoin an hour, 100 Bitcoin an hour. Like two hours later, again, 100 Bitcoin. Um, three hours later, 100 Bitcoin again. So this person has been accumulating about 1,600 Bitcoin just today, which is just insane. Someone is just buying and buying Bitcoin. Who is this? And the person has been doing it since November 2022. So this person is in a massive, massive profit. Um, this could only be like a country. This could only be like a big, big investor probably buying from multiple exchanges, sending it to one wallet. Um, this could be China, which I'm not necessarily sure, certain of, but I think it's probably going to be Russia or Saudi Arabia or one of those oil-rich countries. Uh, might be America, but I very much doubt it. It's definitely a country which is accumulating Bitcoin right now. Um, it could be BlackRock as well um, that's been accumulating a bunch of Bitcoin here, uh, but that seems quite unlikely that they're able to do that so silently. Um, I definitely think it's like a country. I definitely think something like China or maybe Russia could be buying all of this Bitcoin, um, which is just insane to really think about. I mean, we had the invasion of Ukraine, which actually happened in February 2022. So November 2022, uh, that's when this account started buying. It could be potentially Russia. There are some people again saying this Saudi Arabia, you know, Max Kaiser has been saying that Saudi Arabia is buying a bunch of Bitcoin. Um, but if this country are going to announce today about Bitcoin, um, that's just going to be absolutely insane. It's probably going to be a very big country, but it's again going to solidify that this Bitcoin as being just a worldly asset, this, the asset of the future. Uh, and it's coming very, very close right now. I mean, we're, this move to the upside is absolutely insane. Um, we have the BlackRock ETF. Um, it is very possible Bitcoin is going to go to some high levels. And maybe one day Bitcoin is going to be at such a high level that I'm just going to disappear off YouTube because then the Bitcoin price would have been so valuable um, that, uh, you know, there's not any point anymore making these free videos at that point in time. It's just going to be protecting your Bitcoin and um you know, probably protecting yourself against the crisis and all the chaos that's going to be around in the world because you have to understand that even though Bitcoin price has a beautiful move to the upside, there's going to be people on the other side here which don't have any Bitcoin, which already had all their value sucked away from inflation, and that's probably going to continue to go much and much further where people are going to end up having absolutely nothing, no job, no wealth, no house, no nothing, and there's going to be some people here on the flip side which don't have any money. So uh, be very certain, um, you know, Bitcoin... That's a beautiful move to the upside, but keep in mind, protect your Bitcoin, protect your family. And those are the things that are really important right now. And the system is breaking apart, but it's going to continue to break here much, much further to the downside. Um, I'm not talking about here about Bitcoin, but about this general speaking global financial system. It's breaking apart. You're seeing it right now in real time. Protect yourself, protect your family, because this thing is going to go um, a lot, a lot more crazier. So... With that one this video, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, and um, hope to see you guys, of course, in my next video. See you guys later. Bye-bye.